Hello Oz10 users, it's this time again, WWDC 2009 has finished and we've seen all the exciting news of the iPhone but um, uh, beside the iPhone, let's have a look at OS 10 Snow Leopard last year I sent a video for all the small features of Snow Leopard the major architecture features so today we'll see what they have announced and you know, the extra features which we didn't know before so OS 10 Leopard, most uh, most advanced operating system in the world. It's going to be faster. Um, I've watched a live video, and um, there's going to be lots of refinements, new technologies, and a new. F there's going to be a new find that ha that has been recoded, and I think it's been recoded in Coco. Um, the dock has a new feature. The dock has now expose. I don't know how it is, but I think that you press the expose button on a special icon in the dock and everything that all those windows in that same application will expose out. So this is really good if you have multiple pages, let's say you're uh, working on a word processor and you are, uh, you know, you know, uh, you're, you're processing, let's say five pages and you don't want to expose your Safari or uh, iTunes. So this will only expose a specific application. Uh, the good thing about Snow, uh, Snow Leopard is that it has uh, it has less space than Leopard does. This means that you're going to have an extra 6 gigabytes in your hard drive for every Mac. Um, and the boot time is going to be 45% faster, which is incredible. So we're going to have much faster operating system for the whole thing, even benchmarking as simple as launching applications to sleep wake button to shutting down to restarting. Mail will be faster. Uh, Safari 4 has just came out of beta and this will come with Snow Leopard Safari 4. And you can download the out of beta Safari 4 off the Apple website right now. Quick Time X. Now, major features in Quick Time X. There is also a new logo, but also you get to stream with Quick Time X. You get to record like this, like I show you what I'm doing right now. You can record with QuickTime X. Also, there is color sync, and you can edit inside of QuickTime X. You can actually trim a video. You can trim what you have recorded or what you have streamed. Also, Stacks will have a new feature. Stacks, when you open up a stack, what happens is that uh, you open up a specific folder, and it will spread out. Now, what happens if there's a folder in the folder of your stack? You click on it and it will open up Finder. Well, not anymore. You click on a folder inside of your stack, it will fan out into another stack. Click another folder in that stack, it will fan out to another stack. So basically, you could have Finder on your stack in a faster way. Safari 4 will have... Uh, yeah, Safari 4 will be faster, it came out just now. Uh, the graphics will be much faster, uh, OpenGL. Also, businesses will have Microsoft Exchange, which will be pretty good. And also, I reckon the best of all is that if you have Leopard right now, the price is $30 US to upgrade. That is incredible. $130 we had to pay to upgrade to Leopard. That's cheap comparing to uh, Windows Vista or Windows XP paying $700 for the best version where OS 10 Leopard, one version, $129. Well, this is $30 for a single user, $45 for a family user up to five users. And it will come out in September, around then. So that's you know about it, what I got from the WWDC. Of course, there'll be uh, new core technologies, um, advanced hardware, and future innovation. Uh, as I said, there'll be exchange support. Uh, for the blind and for the deaf, there'll be more accessibility options. Um, I heard there's going to be a new UI, UI change. I don't know if this is going to be marble or is it going to be with the same Aqua interface. Um, yeah, there's got to be 64-bit, better graphics, so much faster and really good. 
Um, there's got to be a better responsive eject button. So if people, you know, um, if you want to eject the disc out of the tray, it could be, you know, it could be a problem. Sometimes it doesn't work. So, you know, that's got to be helpful. And I think that's about it. The major, th uh, major uh, features. So, yeah, so $30 September. I hope you enjoy this video. I hope you got some uh, some info from that. Uh, go to the Apple website, apple.com forward slash Mac OS 10, and you can find every single feature of OS 10 Leopard so far. And for sure, during the new uh, new uh, new uh, <laughs> new future, there'll be new, um, more enhancements and more features. So thanks for watching this video and stay tuned. If you need any questions, please talk to me. Thanks.